Hey friends, it's been a while since I've recorded anything. So since we're on this whole lockdown craziness, um, I thought it would be a good opportunity to pick up my saws and see, or baglama, ba balama, and see if I could um, figure out how to play it. It's a little bit different than the oud, so um, it's going to be a, a little bit of a learning curve because I've, I, the only melody instrument that I've ever played has been an oud, and that's fairly straightforward. Um, the saws is slightly different. I mean, f for a couple reasons, but not least of which is because it has frets. I've really kind of started leaning into this idea of not having frets and being able to kind of just go wherever I need to, which is um, still a big. I'm still a beginner with the oud, right? But um, I've kind of learned along with it. So, like, if the strings start coming out a little bit, like I can kind of tease it around a little bit and learn how where it's going until I, it gets too out of whack to. And then I have to retune it. But um, so I'm just learning the basics, basics. So at this point, I'm still learning how to tune. Um, I found a couple good resources. Um, tunings, pbworks.com, um, and Klaus M on, um, on YouTube. He's got a couple good instructional videos. So I busted out my, um, my long neck because I wanted to start learning on a long neck. And Klaus has um, a couple videos on uh, learning how to do it on the long neck. And I was like, okay, well, let me get started with that. And it turns out that one of my strings was missing. And when I was trying to tune one of the other strings, it broke. So, again, since we're under lockdown and all this other business, um, getting strings ordered is going to be a little bit tricky. So, luckily, though, the short neck has all of its strings and I was able to tune it. So um, using the same basic principle for tuning the long neck as, the, as I understand it with the short neck. So the tuning for this is um, C, G, D. And then the way that it works is, uh, for those who don't know, um, you've got two different strings and they're both tuned to the same note. And just, oh, just I love that sound. It sounds so nice. Then the next, it's two thin strings, and they're tuned to the same. Just a slight bit off there. Then the last one is three strings, and they're, it's all tuned to D. Man, I just love that sound. It's just... Oh, man, I just love that sound. And then the other thing, too, is like learning how to use your thumb. This is totally new to me. Um, using your thumb to be able to um, get in there. Like, I don't know if you can see that. So it's like, instead of doing like a normal kind of grip on a guitar where you're putting your thumb in the back of the neck, it's uh, doing this full grip into it and using your thumb. So this is going to be interesting. Um, I'm glad, uh, you know, first world problems, as one of my friends put it. Um, poor me, I can't get strings, but... Um, as long as I'm going to be stuck in a house, um, I would love to be expanding my uh, abilities, my musical abilities as far as it relates to Near Eastern music. Um, uh, but I just, between the oud and the saz, I just love the sound of them. I just, I could just sit there and play them and just listen to the sound. I just love it. Um, so I'm really looking forward to diving into this. Um, so probably over this break, I'm going to be making some more videos <laughs> and kind of, uh, as a way of just keeping myself on track and working, um, uh, trying to stay focused on playing some music, but I'm really looking forward to it. So, um, help me stay on track friends. I'll see you next time.